Ola, Scorpio Sun, Aquarius Moons, welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646 902 5715. When you see this, is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings and see if they rang true for you or somebody else. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards, and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2024. Uh, excuse my voice, I'm recovering from COVID, but otherwise, let's get to your reading. Scorpio Sun, Aquarius Moons, original, intelligent, deep, artistic, and materious is a few adjectives to describe your complex being. These two signs often have a ping pong match against one another, one wanting to be social and trusting, the other wanting to be cautious and keeping to themselves. You might even have a hard time figuring out who's in charge at any given time. One thing that both sides share is that someone can't be ingenuine or lack integrity. You have no time for anyone trying to talk you into something with their persuasive ways. In fact, that sends up a big red flag for you when anyone is coaxing you to do anything. Not that they know that they are wasting their time because you are one person that doesn't appreciate being told what to do. Extreme independence is your forte. Luckily for you, Luckily for you, you have incredible intuition with this duo that allows you to see and feel people's motives before they make it known. Use that to your advantage so that you know who to befriend and who to stay far away from. But once friendship does happen, that person will never know a more loyal person who will stick up for them and always have their back. So Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, the universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Scorpio Sun, Aquarius Moons for the year 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? January, February, March, you all have the five of wands in the reverse. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, support, uh, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Knight of Swords is in the upright for April, May, June. July, August, September, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Huh. Super interesting. Okay. So <clears throat> I almost feel like January, February, March is kind of set aside. Like all of this kind of sticks together as a story. This is kind of like floating out on an island by itself. So the Five of Wands in reverse January, February, March to me is finally you're making some resolutions with people in your life or resolving conflicts that are in your life people you've been having disagreements with and it hasn't been very harmonious you know maybe rubbing shoulders with people and rubbing shoulders isn't the right word is it you know what I mean like rubbing oh rubbing the wrong way with somebody or what have you but it looks like in January February and March all of that stuff is in the past it's buried um you want to enter into a more peaceful kind of year so I feel as though um you've gone through all the struggles and the arguments and everything you're going to go through and you're kind of committing in 2024 to focus on the things that matter the most and not kind of get sucked into these side alleys of conflicts and things like that that are taken away from your harmony um, also, anybody that's going to try to start a conflict with you, you're going to kind of bypass them. You're going to avoid it because you're going to say, I don't have to go to every argument that I'm invited to. Now, in April, May, June, I see some news coming in. Um, it's some truth, actually. And it's just the Knight of um, Swords comes in. He just slams you with some truth. You weren't expecting it. You're going to be taken aback by it. Possibly something got exposed. Possibly you find something out that you shouldn't have found. Um, possibly someone says something they shouldn't have said. But what's going to definitely happen as a result or things are going to move forward very quickly or you're going to be called into action quickly, okay? There could be some drama, some stress, some people arguing about it. Um, but I feel like you're going to turn it into an opportunity because in July, August, September, I see with the Knight of Pentacles, of observing, figuring out how you're going to move forward, what your best strategy is going to be now that you have this information. I think, like I said, I think you're going to use it to your advantage and you're going to try to figure out what is the best way to move, move, to move forward with as little risk to myself or as little damage to myself. So you're not going to jump on it right away, even though you're going to be, there's a sense of urgency that goes along with it, but you're certainly going to take as much time as you can to figure out what directions you're going to take moving forward given this new information. 
And October, November, December, it seems to all work out for you. Pentacles are raining down from the sky. I mean, this is a card of um, a long-term relationship, a card of financial security. I think it has to do more with money. Uh, you could get an inheritance. You could get a load of money dropped into your lap for a sizable sum for some reason. You could uh, get some family property. Um, some assets could find their way to you. Uh, you could get that promotion you've been wanting. You could get that raise you've been wanting. But I think financially, you're going to be pretty sound in October, November, December. And I think if this stuff didn't happen, you would not have been led to it. So look for the signs. Um, that kind of lead to what this is I think it'll be really telling so that's what I have for you all if it does resonate consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading just click on the link tree below or text me 646-902-5715 but make sure you click on the Vimeo link below I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice and then check out your 2023 sun moon readings that are still in my playlist see if they rang true for you or somebody else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate or for a friend in support of my efforts always greatly appreciated otherwise scorpio sun aquarius moons i will see you in the vimeo reading adios from veronica garnett bye